What's a quick way to get your stream sounding better and more professional? Today, we're going to talk about that. I got a quick one for you guys. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into tech, PC, hardware, gaming, stream tips, tutorials, news and reviews, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. And also I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So feel free to stop by, drop a follow. Let's talk some tech. Anyways, let's get to the video. So it goes without saying, a lot of the time that anyone wants to upgrade their stream, they start looking for all sorts of accessories, a better camera, a better computer, a better, you know, something through a capture card, uh, a mirrorless, better lights, all that sort of stuff. One of the things though that gets searched for the most is a better microphone. A lot of people think a headset mic isn't enough or won't cut it. A uh, USB webcam microphone definitely won't cut it. I, I guess maybe unless it's the one off of the Avermedia PW513. If you guys want to see what that sounds like, uh, we got a review of that linked right up here and in the description below. So a good microphone on Amazon or a good USB microphone that you'll find anywhere, honestly, Best Buy, Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, whatever, a lot of the times they tend to be condenser microphones. And the problem with condenser microphones is they're designed to be used in a quiet room with not a lot of noise because they pick up everything, as uh, I'll talk more about as we get further into the video. But long story short, affordable microphones and good sounding microphones that most people end up going with tend to be condensers because the choices for dynamic microphones is uh, a lot more limited. So if you have a condenser microphone and you want your microphone on stream to sound a lot better because you have a noisy room, you have a mini fridge, an AC unit, a ceiling fan, a loud computer, kids running around, the TV in the background, different things like that. And you don't necessarily want to use something like RTX voice because you don't have an RTX graphics card. Rather, I guess NVIDIA broadcast because RTX voice will work. If you have an older uh, NVIDIA graphics card that's not RTX, or if you have an, a Radeon GPU, or I don't know, just anything that won't work because you don't have the right supported NVIDIA graphics card for it. This applies to every computer, every configuration, because it's inside of OBS Studio where you are doing your streaming from. And it's called noise suppression. One filter, real simple. Let's get down to the desktop and I'll show you guys how to do it. So here I am down at the desktop and right now I don't have any kind of noise rejection or noise suppression, compressors, limiter, any of that stuff. I don't have any of that turned on in the microphone. The ceiling fan is on kind of high because it's a little warm in the room. The mini fridge is fridging and I can hear it doing its thing. Um, and it's probably coming through somewhat in the mic. And even if you're just like casually doing stuff uh, like in the area, if you're moving things around, you know, moving a cup around a little bit, oops, making some noise over there. <laughs> My other computer just turned on back here. That all comes through the mic pretty clearly, especially if you have a condenser microphone. The thing with condenser microphones, which by the way, are the majority of all microphones that you're going to be finding on Amazon that are cheap, that are USB, and uh, that are just commonly out there. Even headsets use uh, uh, condenser microphones on them. So they are everywhere. The thing with, uh, with uh, condenser mics is they're designed to pick up everything, uh, like, I can, like I'm getting at here. They want to be able to pick up as much as they can, uh, and it's usually pretty good quality most of the time if it's done well. Problem with that is if you're picking up as much as you can, you're picking up background noise and everything else around it too. They're supposed to be used in a quiet room, a sound treated room, stuff like that. So it's pros and cons with that, and that's why some people talk about dynamic mics being the better microphone in a louder environment. Concerts, those microphones you see up on stage, you have all that noise from the crowd, the band, the speakers, all that. What they use on stage, dynamic microphones. And that's one of the re one of the ways that they deal with rejecting all that noise. So OBS has features built into it to help deal with that. And man, do I love these features. Every time I go into a stream, 
of somebody that I know or other people that I don't know or just to help out anyone. And I can hear just so much noise, background noise in their microphone. I'm like, hey, real quick, just do this. It's really going to improve the sound of your stream. It may come at a slight cost to your voice quality with it. But that slight hit to your voice quality, in my opinion, is worth it because constant background noise can be so off-putting when you're watching a streamer that oh man, it's just like that is kind of a, like the effect that you get when you know you're watching an amateur streamer, so to speak. You know, so somebody who's new to the game and you can just hear everything in the room around them, and it, it kind of hurts the ears a little bit. So I tell them to do the following steps. So let's do that real quick. Let's drag OBS down here. So now we're capturing the desktop. There's your infinite loop. And uh, so you see the mic aux bouncing around right here. So you want to click the gear. You want to go to filters and hit the plus sign. There are two types of noise suppression. Here right under noise gate is noise suppression. This is really the only thing you need to do. One simple thing and that'll be great for the majority of people. Press OK. There are two, speaks and RN noise. Speaks is the old way that they used to do it, which honestly, it's great. I usually do it to minus uh, 25, so it's a little less impact on the vo voice, voice quality, and here we go, the speaks microphone uh, noise suppression filter. So that's how that sounds. Now let's switch it up to the uh, the RN noise filter, the new one that was recently introduced into OBS. Now I, I notice here it says speaks is lower CPU usage, RN noise is higher quality, which usually means higher CPU usage. Adjust it on your preference because they both will do pretty good. But if you see a higher impact to your games with uh, RN noise versus speaks, then use speaks instead of RN noise. So. Just play with it. So here we are, RN noise. The best thing about RN noise is there's no adjustment. You just turn it on. Literally, it's that simple. Turn it on. And this is how RN noise sounds now. If I could see it down in the bar right now. Let's come up here. I could see it down in the, the, the bar. You'll see that the bar just shoves the microphone into a quiet mode. Essentially, if it's not hearing anything, it turns the volume all the way down. And as soon as you start talking, boom, right back. And it's not it's not jarring. That's my favorite thing. I hear a lot of streamers who have set something up like that and they have a lot of background noise. And it's quiet when they're not talking. And then when they talk, you hear all the background noise with them talking and then they stop and then it goes away. And then they talk and it comes back. So it's like waves. So you're listening to them and it's like this in, in terms of background noise. And it's a little off-putting, but I think this works a bit better than that. And then real quick, my own little mini review of how that sounded. Um, I actually like the old noise suppression method better. Now, I think there's some weird bumping noise that I was hearing. And it might be because my ceiling fan and it's like buffeting air at the microphone. Something like that. I don't hear any banging outside or anything. So it's, like I said, condenser mics are super sensitive. The noise suppression one, to me, sounded a bit better with how it just sort of rejected noise. Whereas the RN noise w was that style that I was sort of saying is kind of off-putting where it's quiet and then it's voice with noise and then quiet. So uh, I think I'm going to be switching back to the old style noise suppression. Hey, what do you know? Ended up being pretty simple, right? One quick little trick in OBS is it, it makes such a huge difference for people uh, to have a better sounding microphone on their stream. And you don't need anything fancy. You don't need any extra software. It's all right there inside of OBS. Who doesn't love OBS? So hopefully this can help you guys out on your streaming journeys and all sorts of stuff, whatever you happen to be up to, be that on YouTube, Twitch, or I guess Facebook gaming. <laughs> Anyways, if you found this video useful, helpful, or is it something that you're hopefully going to integrate into your streams, you know what to do. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to talk more stream tips, tutorials, and all sorts of stuff like that, feel free to join our Discord. Everything is linked down in the description below. 
Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. But if you want to talk and you want to talk tech, streaming and gaming and all sorts of stuff like that, join that Discord. That's it for now. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, also we got actually over here, tons of other videos, RTX 3080 content, giveaway content, collab content, more stream tips and tutorials, a whole playlist worth of that sort of stuff. Click on over here, check out the rest of the content on the channel. And uh, yeah, we'd really appreciate that. Yeah, no, no, you're not gonna click. You're not, you didn't click one.